hello students today we will learn about uh, next topic of isometric projection about the spherical scale so what is spherical scale it is used to obtain radius of sphere in isometric view if you can recall uh, the lecture on isometric of sphere in that lecture we discussed that if i have to draw isometric view of sphere then you have to draw the circle of radi uh, radius equal to given radius into 1.22 so 1.22 is the factor over here which is taken from spherical scale so today we will learn how to draw that spherical scale in order to get this factor of 1.22 so spherical scale is just opposite of isometric scale which you uh, have learned in the previous uh, video so what we did in isometric scale we have made one baseline and then we have drawn one line at 30 degrees on that line we created isometric scale and at 45 degree line we have created true length but in spherical scale it is opposite it means what we have to do you have to draw a line at an angle of 30 degrees and on that line you will copy the true length means you will draw scale here earlier in isometric scale you have drawn true length on 45 degrees but in order to get spherical scale you have to draw true length on 30 degree line fine so you will mark those divisions i have marked up to 9 centimeters so we will call this as true length now after that what we need to do from these dimensions we have to draw vertical lines let me extend this line first we have to draw vertical lines in upward direction onto 45 degree line so it is just reverse of isometric scale Now label these points again on 45 degree line. So we can call this as 1, 2, 3 up to 9. So this length will be called as spherical length. Now this these are the true 9 centimeters but this is this length is 1.22 times the true length so this is called as spherical length fine so uh, we can uh, calculate this by mathematic uh, by applying mathematics also uh, like we did in case of isometric scale so you can calculate spherical length so for spherical length uh, let us assume this triangle this triangle so we will say base upon hypotenuse so base what is hypotenuse hypotenuse is spherical length so this will be equal to what it will be equal to cos 45 degrees so from here you will get first value that is spherical length is equal to base upon cos 45 similarly now we can say we can take this triangle so now we will say base base upon uh, true length so it will be equal to what cos 30 degrees so from here we will get second value that is true length so true length will be equal to base upon cos 30 degrees then if we want to find spherical scale so what will be the formula spherical scale will be equal to spherical length upon true length So this will be equal to what is spherical length B divided by cos 45 divided by true length what is true length B upon cos 30 degrees so from you here you will get cos 30 degrees divided by cos 45 degrees 
so this will be colon to 1.22 fine so this you should remember that uh, whenever you have to take radius of sphere while drawing its isometric view then you have to multiply given radius by 1.22 times so this angle is 30 degree so at 30 degree we have drawn true scale at 45 degrees we have drawn spherical scale i hope the procedure of drawing spherical scale is clear to you thank you very much